And that leads us to the final track, which is like my personal favorite. I think Black Sheep is a classic because it brings back that leader to the new school jump and bounce. Oh yeah, I mean that's a classic. So it reminds me of the International Zone Coaster. Ever heard it? I'm afraid to say no. Well, we have some. Oh, we have some. Some. Like I said, I don't. I don't find it. A lot of people look down on the new generation of hip hop because y'all don't do the history. But there's not a many. There's not a lot of R&B singers that really go back and study Motown. So I can't really get mad at you. It was, it, but it's a. It's a teaching point that I would like to share with you. There's MCs that you remind me of. You remind me of Buckshot. And one of Buckshot's craziest lines was, the mind trips the body, body thinks the mind's crazy. And that's on how many MCs. That, that one bar or one line says so much about the MC that the body can't handle what the mind manifests. But the mind thinks the body's crazy because it can't keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the definition of an artist. That's the definition of an artist. I was just having this uh, conversation with Marcus. Like, I'm, I really consider myself an artist, like, even if I wasn't doing music, because this is, you know, it's just, just like this bar that you're saying, it's, 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 it means so much. It's like, I don't want to say it's all over the place, but in a way it is. So it's, it's broad but unique at the same time. Exactly. So. In the, in the spirit of uniqueness, let's talk about Rebel, which is, like I said, one of my personal favorites because it's a whole different flow from the album, yet it has a unique message. And you said that you submitted that track to a, um, a talent show and lost, but the track is such a statement. Tell me about how that song came about and what did you want to convey with it? You said um, the song wasn't even supposed to go on my album. It was made for the competition or whatever. Um, but one thing that a lot of my friends pointed out that when I was making this unplug project, I was stuck in this unplug zone. I could not branch out to other um, other ideas or other topics. I mean, you know, I've done it a few times, but I was really stuck in this unplugged mindset. So I've noticed, like, yo, this song really, you know, it gives a, it gives a whole different feel, but it still fits exactly what it is I'm talking about. So um, it wasn't even on purpose that it belonged. That, that that song was really needed. So to get the reaction I was getting from that song, um. That made me feel good, especially to know that where it came from, like I lost this competition, but everybody else seemed to like it. So it that's a I great song. Care, I don't care. And that's Lauren Hill? Yes. In the, in the hook? Yes. So let me ask you this. Being that this is your debut album and you wanted to give a, a, convey a message, your album overall for a young artist is very dark in nature. Yes. Why such a bleak sound to a debut or release? Words of my father, you wouldn't expect it. So it was something to be different overall. So, in being different, are you trying to catch the casual hip hop ear or the underground backpack hip hop ear? For this album, underground. But me as an artist, depends on where I'm at. I'm, I don't want to stay anywhere. Okay. Um, so, Wait, so you, you don't want to pigeonhole yourself into one sound, and you're still trying to find your sound. So when I pick up a Stan album, what should I, what should I expect when I put, put my purchase down? My life story. But I can say, um, like I said, I have, a, I have a few upcoming projects, such as a collaboration project with my uncle. That's going to sound like nothing like the whole plug project. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people were expecting a more energetic sound, especially when Unplugged dropped. I was. I wasn't going for that type of sound. It was, it was actually a bit of a distraction. Um, and it worked perfectly for whatever it was I had planned. This collaboration project, on the other hand, you're going to get that and more. Um, I don't... I'm, 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 I'm like, I said this before and I'm going to keep saying it. I don't want to stay in one box. Uh, like I said, my biggest inspiration was Michael Jackson. 
Okay. Michael Jackson is the king of pop. He's also known for like, Michael Jackson has a lot of hit rock songs. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty Diana. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come together. Uh, you can't keep that man in one box. You know, yeah. You know, I want to be the same way. But I have to ask you this question because you have another a song out that's symphonically similar to your album. It was on a Stan Ipkiss Rip uh, Hip Hop Therapy Volume One presents Hip Hop Therapy. What was the name of that other song? Soundwaves. Tell me about Soundwaves and why I did not make the album. That was a uh, yeah. That's an unreleased, unplugged album. Uh, um, unplugged song. Um. The reason it didn't make the album was because I, it, it, I love the song. Don't get me wrong, but and it and it fits perfectly. But it was just too sad. Too sad. Okay. Like the mood for the whole album. I was trying, you know, I'm trying to build a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Um, and that song was just like another. I'm not, I'm, I'm not comparing these songs, but I'm mm -hmm. saying as far as like, mood, it gives you the same mood as. Rebel, or it gives you the same mood as like nauseating. Like, it's just sad. I didn't, okay. I want to, I want to build more on my roller coaster, and I didn't want that song to go to waste. My dad, Andrew, didn't want it to go to waste. I wanted one of his beats, so we put it on his project. All right, everybody. So this is Stan. We're talking Unplug. The album's out now on iTunes, Apple Music, Stream Media, CD Baby. Spotify. So if you don't have the money to buy it, at least spend time. Oh, and title. You got your Jay Z his money, right? So, so spend time, invest in great music, and yo, treat your ears to something not only special but groundbreaking. Any last things you want to say? There will be more. I have <laughs> announcements coming up about more. Um, I have two projects coming out. I'm only information for one. Uh, like I said before, I have a collaboration project coming out with my uncle. Um, and I have something else. Surprise, surprise. So tell them how to follow you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at therapeutic underscore stand. I'm say again, therapeutic underscore, uh, underscore stand. I'm sorry. Um, Facebook, Stanley Hipkins Jr. Uh, SoundCloud, Stan. Uh, the name's kind of very, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Oh yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Snapchat, Stan. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere but Twitter. I'm not really big on Twitter. <laughs> Alright everybody, he's everywhere. If he's not in your sound system, you are nowhere. So get so everybody, buy that album. You understand? Heritage Hip Hop saying salute to the young artists. More to come. Peace. Where are you? Give us your position and we'll come to pick you up. Walk in the room with no ID, but I promise you gon' remember the name ID.